The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment and contains views, opinions, commentaries, and content that may offend some subscribers of this show. Listener's discretion is advised. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1 641 985 7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1 647 724 4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion 10 times! Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace! Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god! J-B-L- J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of H-E-W Entertainment Radio on the official website of H-E-W Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So, so what, what are you, you waiting, waiting for? Log on and listen now. Don't miss out on any of the action. Download our app on the App Store, Google Play, and the official website of HEW Entertainment. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you'll get caught up on news, YouTube videos, and more. Download it now. I'm only one. Call away, I'll be there to save the day Superman got nothing on me I'm only one call away Call me baby if you need a friend I just wanna give you love Now to you, so take a chance No matter where you go No, you're not alone, I'm only
Listening to possibly the biggest Charlie Puth fan you could ever listen to on YouTube. I'm your host, Jonathan Clark, and I am a really big Charlie Puth fan because of songs like that one. It's called One Call Away. What do you make of this news item of Selena Gomez and Charlie Puth apparently being reported seen together? Are they Hollywood's latest item? Give me your thoughts in the comments of this video blog on my channel at Jonathan Clark22 and on Twitter at Jonathan Clark1. This comes to us because of our newly updated entertainment news feed you will find on my Facebook page at HEW Entertainment and on Twitter at Jonathan Clark1, offering you the opportunity for more entertainment news stories on your favorite celebrities and ever before with not just news items but also exclusive photos and videos if you have not subscribed make sure you do and Selena Gomez I'm a really big fan of hers especially with how she's been doing for herself in 2016 what a name this young lady has made for herself along with a reputation of course carrying over her success from last year in 2015 releasing this album at the end of last year and already hands to myself is said to be her favorite single released off this album so far after hits like good for you and same old love went right to the top for Selena Gomez and hands to myself seems to be well on its way on uh, securing that number one spot on the Hot 100 Billboard chart because of just the responses received. Not just because of the songs that Selena Gomez is putting up. She is receiving a tremendous response from her fans. Uh, but it's because of this image that Selena Gomez has, a very different image than I can remember ever having seen from Selena Gomez, but it's doing her a world of justice and a world of good uh, by putting herself out there and letting herself be known for the way she wants to be perceived by her fans. Not just some record company or label wanting to put Selena Gomez up for the way they want to, uh, but the way Selena Gomez wants to kind of rebound off everything that happened to her in her personal life. Of course, talking about this lupus situation, being a director, and a producer of this new series on Netflix, which I really enjoy, uh, 13 Reasons Why, which I actually previously blogged about on my YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 This is an awesome Netflix series. It's exclusive to Netflix. If you want to check this one out, if there's one Selena Gomez series you have to check out, it's this one. She's not only in a role in this series, but she is also the executive producer of this series, and it's coming out with new episodes all the time on Netflix. But it seems to me, ever since her breakup with Justin Bieber, everything has been falling in the right place for Selena Gomez. And I could be wrong about that, but with these reports that we're hearing about Selena Gomez, the Pantene campaign, of course, recently promoting Strong Women Day a couple of days ago, of course, she hashtagged out her favorite strong woman because of the Pantene campaign. And also, uh, she's just been doing so much great things. And I think this is something that we cannot go on uh, without recognizing just her uh, awareness of uh, Strong Woman Day, hashtagging out who her favorite strong woman in the world was, uh, courtesy of Pantene posting this on Facebook. Facebook a few days ago, uh, tells me a lot about Selena Gomez. And all this music that Selena Gomez is putting out for herself now is telling me more about Selena Gomez than I have ever known about her after being a fan of hers forever. And take it from possibly the biggest Selena Gomez fan in the world, and I'm not joking when I say uh, I'm one of the biggest Selena Gomez fans in the world, I am extremely proud of everything this young lady has done and everything she has yet to do because she still has a long way to go. And that's what's really frightening about people like Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato. They still have an incredibly long way to go. And can you imagine when they they really reach the peak and the pinnacle of their career. It's going to be fun to see where these two end up, and along with a lot of other people that fit in that same category. Really big fan of people like Selena Gomez, and who can blame me? Because ever since this breakup uh, between herself and Justin Bieber, everything seems to be happening, and deservingly so. Of course, rumors of uh, herself and Charlie Puth being spotted together, even if these rumors are true or even if they are false, at least is something more positive to look at when talking about Selena Gomez news. Because you don't want to hear about Selena Gomez being caught up in some kind of debacle involving drugs or some sex scandal, like we have heard about some celebrities that are in the same category of a Selena Gomez. So at least Selena Gomez seems to be benefiting and is one of the exceptional few uh, that we can kind of get away with making an exception for. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not choosing to stand up for Selena Gomez and defend her because I'm the biggest Selena Gomez fan in the world because I'm not lying when I say that I'm the biggest Selena Gomez fan in the world. I'm saying it because it's a fact. Uh, Selena Gomez would not be in the position that she is in because uh, if not for her fans. And Taylor Swift said something really interesting at the Grammys a couple of weeks ago when she said one day when you get to wherever it is you're going you'll realize it's the fans uh, that made everything possible for you and put you where you are. Of course, she was referring and taking a shot to uh, Kanye West, who claimed a couple of days prior to that, uh, that he was the one that made Taylor Swift famous, for the lack of a better term, that was used uh, in the promo that uh, Kanye West had dropped. Uh, and that kind of throws away the possibility of hearing a single between Taylor Swift and Kanye West being collaborated in the future, which a lot of people uh, were looking forward to. But that kind of brings you back 
out of everything that happened for Selena Gomez because it was the fans that put Selena Gomez in the position that she was in. Of course, she was voted as the favorite teen actress for a lot of people, favorite female teen actress at a lot of Kids' Choice Awards. She was so emotionally connected for every award she was the recipient of.